Leslie Bibb, everybody. Leslie Bibb. You have to tell me something? I do. I have to tell you something. What do you have to tell um, me? My mother's obsessed with you. Really? Obsessed. She I just called me. I can't tell you me. how delighted I am to hear that. She's cute, too. Yeah. She's a fox. I'm sure. But um, she literally just called me on the phone, and she's like, Leslie, now, are you on that Craig Ferguson show tonight? And yeah. I said, yeah, Mama, I am. She's like, well, they just have that Vicente Fox is on there. I was like, I'm yeah. on, I'm on it. She's like, well, will you tell him that he needs to talk slower? Because I can't understand him. Who, me or Vicente Fox? You. Oh, really? She's obsessed with you. Like, she goes, she's like, I said, well, did you? She goes, well, I watched him the other night, and I turned it up real loud, yeah. and uh, and I paid real good attention, and I and I understood him better. But she's obsessed. And then she goes, he is cute as a bug, though. He's just cute as a bug. A bug? Yeah, I don't know why, but she, like, cute as a bug. It's a southern term. It's a yeah, southern I, term. I was going to say, a bug? That's not cute at all. What kind of bug are You're we talking? You're a fox. You're a white hot fox. Yeah, well, <laughs> what is the what kind of what part of the South are you from? I'm from Virginia, so I grew up in the doesn't a lot of people go that's not the South, but mm. it is the South. Right. Um, I grew up in a tiny little town called Levingston, Virginia. It's All in the right. sticks. Right. Cow tipping. Do they have a lot of cow tipping? Mm -hmm. Did you ever actually do that? Did you go out and tip no, a cow? No, but I did go out with people who would tip a cow. I feel guilty about it. I yeah, feel you like you shouldn't tip cows. I feel like it's rude. You if I were sleeping, I wouldn't want somebody to push me over. <laughs> I'll bear it in mind. I. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. I, no, I thought cow tipping was just going out and saying, there's a couple of bucks, go get yourself something no, nice. No, 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 you no, actually real, push like them over. like his cows sleep standing up. That's, that's shocking. <laughs> Tell me about the wrist cutter movie, what's that about then? Wrist cutters, it's a, a love story, uh -huh. and it's set in the afterworld, uh, between, sort of like limbo, mm -hmm. everybody has killed themselves. Do the people do the dances and go underneath the thing, how low can you go? <laughs> and, uh, no. No, that's no, not no, that. No, 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 that, not that's that. limbo too. That's one version of limbo, <laughs> or you could say, you know, that place between heaven and hell. Oh, yes. And so everybody has killed themselves, and you sort of realize that, like, what you have here in life, you take with you. I see, it sounds hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, good yeah, time, yeah, yeah. it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. But really, it's a sweet love story. Uh, 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 but where would you film a, a film set in limbo? Where would you go? Well, because it's supposed to be very, like, gray and muted tones and not supposed to be that exciting and people can't smile there. Scotland. Scot no. <laughs> you know what? Scot I love Scotland. Scotland's fantastic. It's I beautiful. love it too. Yeah. It is very gray. It is pretty gray. Yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. Gray. It's, it's slate gray skies, <clears throat> gray food. Well, yeah. we went to uh, what I like to say hell because we shot in Palmdale and Lancaster. I've been there, yeah. And literally, you want to burst into flames because it's so hot. We shot in the middle of the summer. Right. And so we're shooting on this one location and this, like, we're, it, we shot in weird places. But this right. one place was like this weird commune and there were weird people with, like, scabs on their mouth. I was like, what? Scabs on their mouth? And, like, scabs and children and missing teeth and. And Are you sure this is in Scotland? I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound it doesn't like Palmdale to me. Palmdale's a modern, <laughs> independent community, Scotland. Do they snap yeah, like yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, they do, that's right, yeah. That's how they live in Palmdale. Hey, I'm in Palmdale now. I'm a snapper. Yeah, um, I can see that. Hey, can I ask you something about, the, uh, about your dress? What? It's what? lovely, but I always thought when what? a woman wore a red dress, she was sending a signal. Would what's that be my right? What's my signal? I don't know. I'm asking you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Do you maybe think about that when I, you wear it? Uh, no, I like the color. Right. But, I like um, red too. Yeah. Do you like my dress? I love it. Nice. I, I mean, if it was on its own, I don't think I'd like it at all. But on you, <laughs> it's spectacular. I mean. If it was just there, lying on the chair, I'd be like, oh, there's I a red material like on the... Yeah. You would like it on a chair. Uh, yeah. You I... would like it. No, I guess maybe. It says I'm sassy. It does say you're sassy. It says you're as cute as a bug. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I've picked up on the it lingo. It says I'm single, I'm sassy, I'm on the prowl. Oh, you're... Oh, well done. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. yeah all right. Ready? Get, get, on, your, get ready to do that. Are you ready? Ready? Wow. Wow. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Leslie Bibb, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Leslie Bibb, everybody.
I'm tearing stuff up. I'm going crazy. I'm offering stuff at discount prices. Please take my robot. I'll give you three I easy payments you. of nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, take me, please, take me. <laughs> you want to come to my house? Yeah, Daddy. Like. <laughs> Well, he's new to you. He's been around for a while. You haven't been here for I ages. I know. Last time I was here, I had a red dress on. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you like this one? I really yeah, I, I yeah, picked I a dress like for you. No, it's really very, very sexy. It's got a kind of corsety feel. Yes. And then, is that a... Uh, oh, it's a, a microphone. microphone. Oh, all right. Yeah. I always walk with a microphone. That's good in case <laughs> you need to report to someone. <laughs> See, when you have to put a microphone on like that backstage, do our sound men put it on you or do you do it on yourself? Um, no, he was in there. He unzipped my back of my dress. It gets very intimate. Yeah. <laughs> I got the wrong job here. <laughs> I never see you because you're in New York all the time. I'm in New York and I'm here and we I, we live in the same we live you used to live in the same neighborhood. Yeah, I, I live used in. to live yeah down in the East Village. Yeah, yeah on 11th. Yeah, I used to live on 11th between uh, first and second and above I'm, above the bakery. Yes, Veneros. Yeah, I live right around the corner. Do you really? Yeah. You shouldn't tell any more. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, My address. No, no, no. You really? Do you, did you go to Rosemary's Pizza? Did you go there? No, I don't. I don't. Where do we go? I have a gluten allergy, so I can't really eat. Pizza. You have a gluten allergy? That's yes. so unusual to hear from an actress. No, it's for real. Oh, it is. It's no, real. for real. I'm not like it's not some crazy diet. I really do have. Now, how does it manifest itself? A gluten um, allergy? And what does uh, it mean? With severe bloating if I eat wheat and um, vomiting, and uh, it's not good. It sounds hot. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> That's a, that's a full blown it's allergy. It's like, ah, ah. I know. I know. What, do, can you inadvertently eat gluten? Is it in everything? No, I mean, I think you just know, right? If it's like bread, it's. Bread gluten. is gluten. I thought gluten was like jello. <laughs> <laughs> seriously dead. Like, can you eat jello? Are you a vegetarian? <laughs> do you like. Do you You're like so cute! <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, yes, I can eat jello. I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat. Oh, right. Hamburgers. I, I, a went lot. To, I was in the East Village recently. I went to a burger store. Uh, a, a burger bur store? Well, not a burger store. No. <laughs> no, it was a burger joint. That's what you call them, yeah. Uh, I got confused because you said it was cute. But they, I went to this burger joint. It was called uh, what? Paul's, I think. Paul, da Burger Joint or something. <laughs> Paul, da Burger da Joint. Da Burger yeah, yeah. Joint. Yeah, no, I think it was on 2nd Avenue. Right I know. 7th or 8th. You know what's good is the back 40. That's a really good burger. Is this code? <laughs> no. Where's the back 40? No, I don't know. I, the back 40 where? It's on Avenue B. And I, like 12th or 13th. I used to live there. You, I thought you lived on 11th. I moved. You did. <laughs> I lived, I lived you just in, never left the East Village. No, I moved, I used to live in 11th between 1st and 2nd. Then I moved to B between a 10, 9th, no, just up from the park. So it would be B between 10 and 11th. Yes. On Avenue B. That was, oh. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Right then you, I moved to D on 4th. Shut up! Oh, yeah. That's, what? Uh, yeah, and that was in the 1980s. That's like, what's oh. up? Yeah. Drug dealers and and the Tompkins crazy people. people. Yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cause what? guess what, Daddy wasn't always perky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, that was back in the day when I wasn't cute. I was. What was I, Daddy uh, like back then? Daddy was a bad boy. <laughs> Very, very you were on Avenue D. What else could you be? Yeah, you, well, you had to be quite uh, aggressive in order to get by, but it's not like that there. No, now, is now it? it's like completely gentrified, and there's babies and strollers, and they're still like flavorful. But well, some there. of the babies have got shivs. <laughs> We were on my birthday. We uh, like uh, Sam, my boyfriend. That's where his house is. And oh, um, do you sometimes go to his house? Yes, that's where he lives. That's why it's my place. In oh, New York now. I see. It's and your place too, even yes. though it says house. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yes. girl. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's right, baby. That's what my place here is like for yeah, him. I yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And um, but they, we on my birthday we were walking across the street on 11th, and we saw these heroin addicts at like 8.30 in the morning and we broke up a fight between them and these uh, Puerto Rican lesbians who were going to kill them. Kill them! Why were they going to kill them? Because 
the les lesbians were in this Jaguar and and the like really annoying heroin addict girls started complaining and hit their car oh, as it drove by. You don't do that no. in New York City. No. And the girl got out and Yes, she, she did. She got yes, out of the car did. and she came full throttle mm -hmm. and they got into a whole fight and Sam looked at me and he was like, She's gonna they're gonna they're what's gonna they're gonna that's gonna they're gonna kill it. They're gonna kill that girl. And he ran into it and then at the same time he ran in, he thought it was a guy getting out of the car, but I, I it was the girlfriend. And um and she and she got out of the car and it was these two lesbians and these two heroin addicts and they were gonna pummel them and then I ran into it. And, and the got, lesbians were like, hi. And, yeah. <laughs> Hey, baby, what's your name? <laughs> but I did get in front of them, and I was like, listen. They were like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, because I was like, this is, I was like, they're crazy. Yes, you, they hit your car. Yes, they're wrong. You're never going to get anywhere. Just walk away. And they're like, okay. And then the heroin addict girl was like crying. She's like, you broke my arm. <laughs> you broke my arm. And I was like, you're annoying. Go yeah. Away. That's I, the thing that they don't tell you about heroin addicts. They are jackasses, They're huh? jackasses. Whiny bitches everywhere. And they nod out. Yeah, I know. Really <laughs> you know that school there, uh, just at 11th Street? You know the little elementary yeah. school? You know that schoolyard there? Yeah. I got my ass kicked in there. <laughs> what happened? Well, I was drinking with my buddy. It was about 4 o'clock in the morning, and he said, this is boring. I was like, right. And he said, let's fight each other. <laughs> So we went into the schoolyard. We thought we'll fight in a schoolyard. It'll be that'll be funny. And we went in. He kicked my ass. What did he I mean, I smacked him around a bit, but he won clearly. You know. What, did he really? He beat the crap out of you? Yeah. What happened to you? What did? What did? Well, about ten years later, I went into rehab. <laughs> but, yeah. That's that, good. Yeah, you know that it's was it. Not... Hey, we're out of time. Quickly, okay. All right. Um, uh, mouth organ. Mouth organ. <laughs> There you go. Open it up. Get that in your mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to blow. Oh yes, god. you do. I can't get it out. I look, got nervous. Look, look, I got don't nervous. be nervous. It's all right. It won't hurt. Here it is. Look oh god. That's what they always there say. There you go. All right. Ready? <laughs> one, uh, two, two, one, two, two three, three, four. Like a milk, just a fat, wow. I yeah. love it. No, no, it's, I like your shoes. Look at those. Thanks. I'm like your nightlight with these shoes. I could be at your house and. You could stand next to my bed and wear those, yeah. <laughs> it would keep me up all, all night. night. Yeah. They're nice. With jazz hands. Yeah. That's a very. <laughs> do you do that often? What, jazz hands? Yeah. Sometimes when I'm on my raft. <laughs> <laughs> you have a raft? <laughs> Nah, I just go and shop around for them. Is that, is that a pickup line? Like, guys try and pick you up by saying they have their own raft? Yeah. You know what? I have my own raft. <laughs> I have a raft and an outboard motor. And I live at home with my mother. Oh. Oh. No, no, that's no, you don't. Oh. But the raft line isn't great either. I think it is. You think you would go out if a lady, well, it doesn't, if I said to you, I have my own raft. Yeah. You'd go out with me? Yeah, because I'd think you're crazy and we'll probably have sex <laughs> on the first night. <laughs> It's like, oh, this is a crazy person. Clearly, their boundaries are all over the place. It'll be fine. I can do my raft talk and it'll be, hey! I'm not advocating that kind of behavior, by the way. I, I'm just saying it for comedy purposes. It's like, you know, when we're making fun of Wilfred Brimley. We're not making fun of diabetes. You know that, right? right. Or even Wilfred Brimley. Or Have you ever met Wilfred Brimley? Uh, no. Oh, you haven't lived. You haven't lived. When did you meet him? I, I haven't met him. You haven't met him, but you no. just talk about him and yeah. diabetes? Well, <laughs> it's more about his commercial for diabetes. Uh, no, not for diabetes, for, you know, uh, for uh, a recovery from... Uh, how are you doing? Uh, you're, uh, your shoes We've there. We've gone from rafts and diabetes and, and Dayglo shoes. Yeah, I want to ask you about your shoes, though. Are they, yeah. special, are they a special designer? They're Jimmy Choo's. They're nice. 
My shoes are shoes. My shoes are shoes. <laughs> want to talk about the orgy movie? Do you want to talk about it? Yes, I do. In fact, I'd, I'd quite I like... Don't, I don't take part in the orgy. I don't want to see it, then. No. Have you ever... What, I been... mean, this is really personal, but have you ever... What? Orgy? Been involved in group sex? <laughs> All right, let's just take a moment. You decide, America. <laughs> What? I couldn't do it. It's too many holes. It's too many people. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, I need to focus on one person. Well, you, you, uh, I can't, it's like, whoa, what? Hell, I'm, I'm oh. not saying, well, I've never, I'm not saying I've ever been involved in anything but like that. But don't you think but, it would be a lot of holes? <laughs> Depends on who's there, you know? I, uh, I think it would be distracting. Uh, well, I think the idea is to somehow distract yourself. I think it's part of the fun. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm actually very vanilla uh, when it comes to sex. I'm very old-fashioned about sex. Me, me, uh, a couple of other people, uh, a midget, a sheep, uh, a guitar, some equipment, what a skeleton. Wait, hold on. What do you do with the guitar? Oh, I didn't say hi to Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey there, I got a raft. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get weird? <laughs> Jeff, would you take part in an orgy? Yes, I would. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, no, I would. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you need the guitar at an orgy. What is the orgy? I mean, what does a guitar do to the orgy? It's to accompany yourself. <laughs> Musical accompaniment. <laughs> you just break into song in the middle. You're like, well, everyone the, hold. The, <laughs> I think the whole idea of an orgy is everyone is already holding. <laughs> that. No, I, I'm not. No, I'm very, I'm very... I don't, me too. No, I'm I don't not. take... I mean, you know, maybe if it was the right offer, you know. <laughs> I don't think so. How about Raquel Welch? How about that poster of Raquel Welch? Well, the one I have backstage? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. But it's, that's... How about, how about? i got to be honest. Um, that, that's been around for a while, that poster. Well, I, I just saw it for the... Fr oh, and, oh, yes, yes, the poster. But I hadn't seen it before in your, in your place. Yeah, well, yeah, it's in the... In the she's so beautiful. She's very beautiful. You know, she was here. She's, like, 70 years old, still beautiful. Did she give you, the like, the tingles when you saw her? No, I asked, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> I was like... No, I, I did. I was like... This Hey, conversation, our whole conversation is geared towards sex because kind it's, of I think I'm obsessed with it. Uh, what do you think? No, I just think it's a healthy fascination. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do I talk about it too much? Do you think? In this interview, <laughs> we've talked about it a great deal. Well, you're in a movie called A Good Old Fashioned Orgy. Yeah, I mean, I mean what I mean, else are we going to talk? Yeah, about? yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. How was your summer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't know. I'm, I'm always kind of uncomfortable with the idea that what I do here is an interview. I mean, I, clearly it's not. No, no. no. It's, it's the thing, when you come out, you're like, what are we going to talk about? And it's like, I don't sex. know. Yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex and rafts. Sex and rafting. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> do you enjoy uh, marine uh, activities? There you are. <laughs> do you... <laughs> Do you? Have you, have you ever... I feel like my whole, every time I'm here, I just do this with you. I yeah, just look no, at you yeah. and get... And I go like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, now, do you enjoy, though, have you been boating? No, well... You're kind of a city girl, really. I am. Yeah. I was on, I got, I got seasick once. Oh, at sea or just... At sea. No, oh, I right. wasn't on land in seasick. Right. I was, at, like, on a boat, and I was sleeping on the boat, and I, it was not good. I took Dramamine, it was, and you feel like you're, like, in, like, some... Acid trip. I've never yeah, done acid. See, you can't that. say that. I've never done, that. That. I've never done it. acid, though. I oh, I've, that... I've done. Have you? <laughs> what is it like? Will you please tell me? Because I'm so scared. I uh, would be like... Don't bother. Don't really? bother. Yo, it's, is it no. like the walls are breathing? Oh, it's awful. No, no. It's like, you know, you start laughing. And then you think, oh, this is going to be great. I'm really, really laughing. This is really hilarious. Then about eight hours later, you're like, when the... I got up. Well, this hilarity end. <laughs> And still you're laughing. And then it's like 12 hours later and you're like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, man. Really, it's, it's horrible. Have, did you ever have a bad trip? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, remember, I only did it about 30 times. And after... <laughs> I'm not kidding. And after... For after, real? Yeah, for real. And then after, after about 30 times, I was like, you know, who's having fun here? <laughs> I'm not enjoying this. So, you know, I had to talk with my dealer, did it another you few said, times. We need something else. We gotta we gotta find something else. And we did. Did uh, you? <laughs> did yeah. you ever did you ever do that in New York? 
When yeah. you lived in New York? You know, I never did psychedelics when I lived in New York. You don't need to, it's New York. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all happening for you already. It's like, ah! I'm like, oh, who needs it here? It is, it's like, it's, it is on acid. Yeah, kind of. All the time. Yeah. That's so funny. Oh, we're, yeah, we're out of time. That's it? Yeah. You want, uh, what do you want? Mouth organ, glittery ball, uh, uh, what's the other one? Awkward pause. What's the last one? Awkward pause. Awkward pause? Yeah, all right. Well, well, let's try and put a subtext in the awkward pause. I have been doing, with male guests, I've been, I'm trying to sneak a look at your genitals, but I think that's a little too creepy with a female guest. <laughs> so let's have awkward pause where one of us is just coming on an acid trip. Okay. Who's, who's on acid? Okay. You? you? What if we're on an acid together? Okay. <laughs> That's going to be awkward. This time making... I don't know what's happening with your giants driving me crazy. I know, it's just grumpy, isn't it? See, that's supportive, Jeff. Right there, that's supportive. That's taking the grumpy tie idea and running with it. I mean, it's Jeff, really? Yeah. <laughs> and why is Jeff British today? Um, <laughs> well, we were just doing a kind of thing. Because somebody was nice to us in the emails, we started to talk like it was down to oh. Nabby. Like oh. that. Would you like to talk like this? No. Well, we can talk like this as much no, as we want. I have a terrible English accent. No, it sounds rather good, no, actually. It's terrible. Sounds great. It's like watching Downton Abbey, but with sexiness. Why are you cranky? It's because of my tie, I think. Really? Just your tie? Are you, do you have a little, like, a cold? I, I did have. I think it's going away. And I also had food poisoning. And, while we're on the subject, shingles. Shut up. Let's break it down. What happened? How did, did the shingles come? The that? shingles first, then the shingles went away, then I got the cold, then that went away, then I got food poisoning. I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. Did you eat a bad chicken? Bad chicken. Bad chicken, yeah. Yeah. What, where'd you have this said chicken? Well, in a restaurant. I, I don't want to say because I can't prove it and I don't want to get sued. Was it a fancy restaurant or was it like It McDonald's? was an organic, super healthy restaurant. Mm -hmm. Does that make you angry? Well, it bugs me a little bit when that happens because have you're you ever sitting... Have food poisoning? Yeah, well, yes. I mean, it's awful. It's very, very bad. It's no good. You get very skinny afterwards, though. You're very yeah. svelte. Apparently, that, that, that went right by me. No, uh, it didn't. <laughs> Although I did think, as I was actually hurling and all sorts of other stuff yeah. going on, I was thinking, losing weight, losing, losing weight. <laughs> you look very nice. Are you having a nice time on the uh, good Chris? What is it, GCB good? G don't say the B word. People get so crazy. Well, they get good Christian bells? No, and then it was... I know what it originally was. It was yeah. good Christian... Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, female dogs. Yeah. And, um, and then it became bells, and then that wasn't really right, so then we went back to just GCB. Well, what does GCB say? You can stand for anything. Uh, G we'll do our game. Okay, GCB, let's do it. GCB, uh, Jeff Cuddles Bachelors. <laughs> George Clooney's Balls. Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Jeff, you got it all to do. Girly Kookaburra. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to disallow that. Kookaburra yeah. is a K. Yeah. It's like a K on yeah. Kookaburra. Yeah, no way. I'm not speaking to you anymore. Ah, oh, what the hell? He's surly, too. I think that it's because he's... Did your tie. the tie, yeah. Now, when you saw the tie, did it immediately make you go, ugh? Or were, is it something that you just I think, it, I think it just crept up on me. It like your dress. Does your, your dress look uh, cheerful? Does it make you feel it cheerful? It makes me feel happy. Yeah, no, it looks nice. It's got a slight, and I mean this in a lovely way, a slight flaggish quality to it. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, that's nice. It's not good. Is it not? No, it, it's got a slight 
you know. It has a little bit. I have a flag. I'm a flag. No, it's flagish. It's got a flagish quality. I never said. No, it but flagish. If you say ish on the end, it doesn't make. I look like a flag. No, no, you don't look like a flag. You look like. You look like a, 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 a hey Jeff JCB uh, come on come on go back no I Thank just you. I meant because of the color blocking huh? ah see that's so Vogue magazine of you I understand about ladies' fashions you know why because I like ladies I do you yeah. like a good shoe I like a good what you got on a loop whoa very good La Boutons, I yes. see as well wait did you meet him yeah in Paris. Why were you in Paris? To meet Christian Laboutin, the designer of the shoes. But did you do a bunch of shows? Do it again, shows? do it again. Did you do Thank a bunch you. of shows there? Yeah. Why wasn't I on your show when you were in Paris? <laughs> Would you have come if I'd asked you? Yes! <laughs> what does GCP stand for? <laughs> Jeff's Craig's bitch. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Took, took you a while, though, you got to admit. <laughs> so he's, he's upset. He's so coy now. now. He's very, he's, he's upset. He's very... I can tell, I know him pretty well. He's upset. What? He's so, I feel like Look, well, when, when you're with your boyfriend, you can tell he's upset. He doesn't have to say anything, right? You know he's going to be upset yes. when he's upset. I right? know. Right, well, that's kind of like me and Jeff, except he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you have it, do you, like, when you, are you in therapy with your boyfriend? You should be. I do therapy. I'm a huge... Oh, uh, me too. I love therapy. I love therapy too. I, I go, think I, it's... I go along there. I know, you have to. Yeah, I, Not I you actually have do to. have to. No, I do have <laughs> But don't you think, I think it's a good thing to do. It I does. mean, I'm a hot mess. I need help. No, you... Yeah, I do. And, like, I mean, I'm a handful. I am. I'm a bit of a handful. I'm sure... In, in what way? Are you testy? No, I'm just a lot of woman. You are, you are a lot, a of, lot woman. of woman. I'm like I'm. I'm Do you have spice. needs? Do I have needs? Yeah, as a woman. <laughs> well, doesn't every woman have needs? <laughs> I feel I'm in a no good place. Ad. <laughs> I mean, I when I say I'm a lot of woman, I mean I I am. Um, I, I demand like him to be accountable. I think. And so I like to talk about feelings. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> I do. I want to talk about it. Because here it is. I grew up with sisters. So I just, I don't, don't come back at me with some nitpick about something that happened two weeks ago. If you have a problem with me, I want to deal with it now and not like, you know, yeah, I, that bugs you're, me. You're right, sister girl. Sister, but, you, but don't you hate it when like your lady comes up to you and is like, remember that thing that you did? Three weeks ago, I can't remember three. No, weeks no, ago. no, no. She doesn't do that. Yeah, I like to talk just... about it. She punches you <laughs> right in the face. That's what. I, I, yeah, if, if I ask for it nicely. <laughs> That's why I'm in therapy. It's no, so no. Fight Club of you. Yeah, no. Well, we don't talk about that. But we don't the, talk uh... about that. What happened? in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. Right, exactly. Well, that's Vegas. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Come. I mix them You're such together. A girl. I'm such a girl. I have news. Uh, um, do we have to take a break? That's what it. Are you saying in such a passive aggressive Every, way? Okay, everybody, everyone's like, all right. Yeah. Fine, bitch. All right, well, let's take a break. Take a we'll break. be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> With Leslie Flag. Flag. Uh, <laughs> you're not, That's it's, not a good pickup line. Look, Remember I'm, last time I was here, we talked about pickup lines, and you said, Do you own a raft? was like your pickup line. Yeah. Now the flag has entered the raftum. <laughs> Wait, do you own a raft isn't a good pickup line? I mean, if we're not near water, I don't think it is. <laughs> Right? So, like, uh, you know, at the beach, if you come up, went up to a girl and said, hey, uh, you on a raft? <laughs> I might think you're cute if yeah, you did that then. Yeah, you'd like it. Just because like, you're funny, that yeah, would be yeah, funny. Hey, you got a raft? You want to you see my raft? I don't want to see no. your raft. I, don't, I, don't I went too far. I went you too went too far. far. Yeah, yeah. And when you said, hey, do you want to hey, go on a raft? Hey, hey, do you want to go on a raft? Not in the water, just on the sand, you know, to be safe. <laughs> no, that would freak you out. All right. 
Hey, uh, we're out of time. So, That's it. Um, oh. what do you want? My, oh, you're, look, your hand touched my leg there, and you didn't I know, even I mean can't, it. I don't. I can't. No, I'm do it again. It was great. <laughs> I'm you, uh, southern. We're handsy. We're handsy in the bib family. I, I, I've been south of the Mason Dixon. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> when I say I've been south of the Mason Dixon, by the way, that's code. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, what mouth organ I've already done. Okay. That's kind of like, never mind. <laughs> South of the Mason Dixon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, well, you can do awkward pause or you can go for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. What time is the shadow statement? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Here's how we do it. Don't touch it till you earn it. Fifty dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars oh, news. Two win. ways to win. Okay. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine it's a bag in your box. No, 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 no. It's the box. No, look, there's a <laughs> box in my head. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. You try and imagine what's in the box. If you're right, you win the fifty dollars. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the box in your head. Okay. <laughs> you ready, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm imagining a box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Is it in your head right now? It's in my head. I want you to see it in color. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking it up. Okay. You see a flag? Jeff? We what? would have accepted grape-colored bowls. <laughs> but yes, the answer is a flag. It's a flag! My address is... No, no. no. You really? Do you, did you go to Rosemary's Pizza? Did you go there? No, I don't. I don't. Where do we go? I have a gluten allergy, so I can't really eat pizza. You have a gluten allergy? That's yes. so unusual to hear from an actress. No, it's for real. Oh, it is? is it no, real? for real. I'm not like it's not some crazy diet. I really do have... Now, how does it manifest itself, a gluten um, allergy? And what does uh, it mean? With severe bloating if I eat wheat and mm. um, vomiting, and uh, it's not good. It sounds hot. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> Really, wow, really that's, a, that's a full blown it's allergy. It's okay. like, ah, ah. I know. I know. So what, you, can you inadvertently eat gluten? Is it in everything? No, I mean, I think you just know, right? If it's like bread, it's. Bread gluten. is gluten. I thought gluten was like jello. <laughs> <laughs> seriously dead. Like, can you eat jello? Are you a vegetarian? <laughs> do you like. Do you You're like. so cute! <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, yes, I can eat jello. I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat. Oh, right. Hamburgers. I, I, a went lot. To, I was in the East Village recently. I went to a burger store. Uh, a, a burger bur store? Well, not a burger store. No. <laughs> no, it was a burger joint. That's what you call them, yeah. Uh, I got confused because you said it was cute. <laughs> but, uh, I went to this burger joint. It was called uh, Paul's, I think. Paul Da Burger Joint or something. <laughs> Paul Da Burger da Joint. Da Burger yeah, yeah, yeah. Joint. Yeah, I think it was on Second Avenue, right? I about know, but this seventh is, or eighth. You know what's good is the back forty. That's a really good burger. Is this code? No. <laughs> Where's the back For forty? What? No, I don't know. I, the back forty. It's where? on Avenue B, and I, like twelfth or thirteenth. I used to live there. You? I thought you lived on Eleventh. I moved. You did. <laughs> I lived, I lived. You just in, never left the East Village. No, I moved. I used to live in 11th between 1st and 2nd. Then I moved to B between a 10, 9th, no, just up from the park. So it would be B between 10 and 11th. Yes. On Avenue B. That was. Oh, oh fancy. Yeah. Right back. When then I moved to D on 4th. Shut up! Oh, yeah! That's. What? Uh, yeah, and that was in the 1980s. That's like, what's oh, up? No. Yeah. Drug dealers and and the Tompkins crazy people, crazy people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Because guess what, Daddy wasn't always perky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> no, that was back in the day when I wasn't cute. I was. What was I, Daddy uh, like back then? Daddy was a bad boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was very, very. You were on Avenue D. What else could you be? Yeah, you, well, you had to be quite uh, aggressive in order to get by, but it's not like that there. No, now, now it? it's like completely gentrified, and there's babies and strollers, and they're still like flavorful. But some there. of the babies have got shivs. <laughs> <laughs> crack we were on my birthday we uh, like uh, Sam my boyfriend that's where his house is and oh um, do you sometimes go to his house yes that's where he lives that's why it's my place in oh New York I see it's and your place too even yes. though it's his house yes. yeah yeah that's right yes. girl. yeah <laughs> that's, that's right baby my place here is like for yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. We, on my birthday, we were walking across the street on 11th, and we saw these heroin addicts at like 8.30 in the morning, and we broke up a fight between them and these uh, Puerto Rican lesbians who were going to kill them. <laughs> kill them! Why were they going to kill them? Because the les lesbians were in this Jaguar, and, and the like really annoying heroin addict girls started complaining and hit their car oh, as it drove by. you don't do that no. in New York City. No. And the girl got and yes, she, she did. She got yes, out of the car did. and she came full throttle. Mm -hmm. And they got into a whole fight. And Sam looked at me and he was like, "She's gonna. They're gonna. They're, what's gonna? They're gonna. That's gonna. They're gonna kill it. They're gonna kill that girl." And he ran into it. And then at the same time he ran in, he thought it was a guy getting out of the car, but I, I, it was the girlfriend. And um, and she, and she got out of the car. And it was these two lesbians. Leslie Bibb, everybody. Leslie Bibb. You have to tell me something? I do, I have to tell you something. What do you have to tell um, me? My mother's obsessed with you. Really? Obsessed. She I just can't called tell you me. how delighted I am to hear that. She's cute, too. Yeah. She's a fox. I'm sure. But um, she literally just called me on the phone, and she's like, Leslie, now, are you on that Craig Ferguson show tonight? And yeah. I said, yeah, Mama, I am. She's like, well, they just have that Vicente Fox is on there. I was like, I'm yeah. on, I'm on it. She's like, will you tell him that he needs to talk slower? Because I can't understand him. Who, me or Vicente Fox? You. Oh, really? She's obsessed with you. Like, she goes, she's like, I said, well, did you? She goes, well, I watched him the other night, and I turned it up real loud, uh -huh. and uh, and I paid real good attention, and I, and I understood him better. But she's obsessed. And then she goes, he is cute as a bug, though. He's just cute as a bug. A bug? Yeah, I don't know why, but she, cute as a bug. It's a southern term. It's a yeah, southern term. Yeah, but I was going to say, a bug? That's no cute at all. What kind of bug are we talking? You're a fox. You're a white hot fox. Yeah, well, <laughs> what is that? What kind of what part of the South are you from? I'm from Virginia, so I grew up in the desert. A lot of people go, "That's not the South," but mm. it is the South. Right. Um, I grew up in a tiny little town called Levingston, Virginia. It's All in the right. sticks. Right. Cow tipping. Do they have a lot of cow tipping? Mm -hmm. Did you ever actually do that? Did you go out and tip no, a cow? No, but over? I did go out with people who would tip a cow. I feel guilty about it. I yeah, feel you like you shouldn't tip cows. I feel like it's rude. You if I were sleeping, I wouldn't want somebody to push me over. <laughs> I'll bear it in mind. I. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. I no, I thought cow tipping was just going out and saying, "There's a couple of bucks. Go get yourself something no, nice." No, 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 no. no, no. no you for actually real, push like because cows sleep standing up. That's that's shocking. <laughs> Tell me about the wrist cutter movie. What's that about then? Wrist cutters. It's a, a love story, uh -huh. and it's set in the afterworld uh, between sort of like limbo. Mm -hmm. Everybody has killed themselves. Do the people do the dances and go underneath the thing? How low can you go? <laughs> no. No, that's no, not no, that. No, 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 no. That, that's that, limbo too. That's one version of limbo, <laughs> or you could say, you know, that place between heaven and hell. Oh yes. And so everybody has killed themselves, and you sort of realize that, like, what you have here in life, you take with you. I see. There. It sounds hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah. But really, it's a sweet love story. Uh, uh, so where would you film a, a film set in limbo? Where would you go? Well, because it's supposed to be very, like, gray and muted tones and not supposed to be that exciting and people can't smile there. Scotland. Scot no. <laughs> you know what? Scot I love Scotland. Scotland's fantastic. It's I beautiful. love it, too. Yeah. But it is very gray. It is pretty gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gray. It's, it's slate gray skies, mm. gray food. Well, yeah. we went to uh, what I like to say hell because we shot in Palmdale and Lancaster. I've been there, yeah. And literally, you want to burst into flames because it's so hot. We shot in the middle of the summer. Right. And so we're shooting on this one location and this, like, we're, it, we shot in weird places. But this right. one place was, like, this weird commune and there were weird people with, like, scabs on their mouth. I was like, what? Move? Scabs on their mouth? And, like, scabs and children and missing teeth and... And Are you sure this isn't Scotland? I'm <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't sound it's 
Surely it Palmdale to me. Hot. Palmdale's a modern, independent <laughs> community, Scotland. Do they snap yeah. like that? Yeah, they do. That's right, yeah. That's how they live in Palmdale. Hey, I'm in Palmdale now. I'm a snapper. Yeah, um, I can see that. Hey, can I ask you something about, the, uh, about your dress? What? It's what? lovely, but I always thought when what? a woman wore a red dress, she was sending a signal. Would what's my right? What's my signal? I don't know. I'm asking you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Do you maybe think about that when you I, wear it? Uh, no, I like the color. Right. But, I like um, red too. Yeah. Do you like my dress? I love it. Nice. I, I mean, if it was on its own, I don't think I'd like it at all. But on you, <laughs> it's spectacular. I mean, if it was just there lying on the chair, I'd be like, oh, there's I a red material like on the. Yeah. You would like it on a chair. I, yeah. You I, would like it. No, I guess maybe. It says I'm sassy. It does say you're sassy. It says you're as cute as a bug. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I've picked up on the it lingo. It says I'm single, I'm sassy, I'm on the prowl. Oh, you're, oh, well done. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, all right. Ready? Get, get on, your, let's see get ready do to do that. Are you ready? Ready? Wow. Wow. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Leslie Bell, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome the lovely Leslie Bibb, everybody. Hi. Hello, Leslie. You're just tearing up stuff. I'm tearing stuff up. I'm going crazy. I'm offering stuff at discount prices. Please take my robot. I'll give you three easy payments of $19.99. Yeah, take me, please, take me. <laughs> You want to come to my house? Yeah, Daddy, like. <laughs> he's new. Well, he's new to you. He's been around for a while. You haven't been here for I ages. I know. Last time I was here, I had a red dress on. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, do you th like this one? I really, yeah, I, I yeah, picked I a do dress like for you. No, it's really very, very sexy. It's got a kind of corsety feel. Yes. And then, is that a, uh, uh, oh, it's a, a microphone. microphone. Oh, all right. Yeah, I always walk with a microphone. That's good in case <laughs> you need to report to someone. <laughs> See, when you have to put a microphone on like that backstage, do our sound men put it on you or do you do it on yourself? Um, no, he was in there. He unzipped my back of my dress. It gets very intimate. Yeah. <laughs> I got the wrong job here. No. How are things? I never see you because you're in New York all the time. I'm in New York and I'm here. And we, I, we live in the same... We live... You used to live in the same neighborhood. Yeah, I, I live used in, to live yeah, down in the East Village. Yeah. yeah, on 11th? Yeah, I used to live on 11th between 1st uh, and 2nd. And above, above the bakery. Yes, Veneros. Yeah. I live right around the corner. Do you really? Yeah. You shouldn't tell any more 